What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our Sucks TV. And today, guys, we're actually unloading La Troca del Primo, which actually won top 100 OTM. We appreciate the guys that are on the gas and Banas y Trocas for the hospitality and allowing us to be and recording right straight in the action. So, huge shout out, compas. Uh, we're actually going to unload it today. And then, after this, we're going to pick up the burnout truck. So, vámonos. So we're actually gonna need to update the locks on the trailer since this trailer is too low. And that's what we initially wanted for. It already fucked up this right here, bro. You know what? Let's let go. So yeah, we need to update the locks real quick. We're in auto zone. I just not sponsor no locks. So we got the locks. Can we put them So guys, we're here at IHC picking up the burnout truck. It's right here to my right. If you're looking at the video, it's gonna be to your right. Huh? My left, but your right. And it looks badass. It looks actually a little bit lower than what I was expecting, pero quedó. And once we do the 22s on it, perfect. Again, huge shout out to the compas here at IHC for hooking us up with the kit. J and J Motorsports for installing, doing the whole installation, and we're a little backtracked on it just because we're trying to configure out the coil or suspension on it. Pero quedó mamalona. I know you guys are gonna like it. And compa snacks, sandwiches. <laughs> Here at JJ Motorsports, he's gonna to explain to us a little bit que le pusimos a la burnout truck. Hey guys, so in the frente, we did a five inch control arms, well, four to five inch control arms. We did do a QA1, so we had problems, that's why we took a little bit longer. The springs that it came with, I don't know if you guys know technical anything about it, so it shows you how long they are and how much weight. They were too short, so we had IHC springs here that are custom made for IHC. Yeah that I had to go back there and steal from the performance kit of the Ford and install it here since it worked and it made the truck work. See? Because with these springs, it was probably at, yeah, it was probably, <laughs> well, Leo saw it. It was probably at a seven. The tires were in the fenders. Ya estaba todo topando, rozando, gotcha, todo feo. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it looked badass, but, but it wasn't nah. going to perform as, <laughs> as, as we wanted to. So yeah, so in the front, it was just that. We made the Q1 work. We made everything work, so it's basically you could say a performance kit. A performance kit. Yeah, right. because it's the same thing. It has yeah. it has our kit, the IT kit, with the QA1, with our spring too. So yeah, it's all, uh, yeah. I can't wait. To so this is one of the first trucks that has it like has that it. because I went back there and stole it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, <laughs> and then in the back, I, I just did a flip kit with stock shackle so it could be a six. Mm -hmm. And then they brought me the QA1s. I mean, I installed the, the, the shock relocation in the back. Shock relocation. Yeah, so it, ha it has adjustment. It has... It's already adjusted to, to my liking. I don't know whenever you throw burn out, you can probably make it well, stiffer yeah. if, if it does go to the side, but it's already kind of like. Uh, I, I think it'll be perfect. Yeah, no, I like it stiff, so it's not going to matter. See, like I, we, we're, going, we're going to try it out right now. Yeah, so right now it's a 5.6 it's a actually. Not a 5.7, it's a 5.6. A 5.6, a five, six. Five, six, all new drop that we just invented. Eh, fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> So and again, the, these deals are not gonna stay. Nah, gonna nah, nah. Better watch out, man. I didn't think it was gonna fit, actually. Yeah, nah. I thought these were gonna be too big because they're the original tires. But nah, it fit. Yeah, when I saw it, I was like, oh, maybe in the front, yeah, at full lock, it does it, light yeah, better because it's stock tire nah, at a five in the front. But other than that, throw my lawn. I can't wait to to take it for a spin and to spin it. Yeah, yeah. This way, over the fajo. This with you guys. Uh, for all the work, I'll let you guys get to continue and we'll see what next project we bring them. Man, okay, so we got the burnout truck loaded in the trailer. And now we're going home and we're gonna talk to you guys a little bit of uh, what else we have planned for the burnout. Let's go this way. 
the burner truck, the true update de qué es lo que vamos a hacer. So, yeah, excited. ¿Cómo la ven ustedes? Quedamos malona. I think it's the perfect height. Y está más bajita que la pantera, that's for sure. Y no topa el bumper, ¿sí que no topa el bumper, más subimos. So, no vamos a batear con la trailer. Subir y bajar. We're not going to have an issue. We're going to be wrapping this truck and we're going to be doing a camel design, right? Sí. A camel design. I'm getting actually the rendering done as we speak so we can feel it. Oh, oye, wey, está caliente, wey. Oh, it's a beautiful 90 degrees, zero clouds here in the in the RGV. Vamos a poner caliente, wey. Se pone caliente. But it's it's like clockwork for us porque ya sabíamos cómo hacerle. So bajamos, subimos la trama como si nada. Loaded up, no malona. I did see a road where we queríamos hacer unos donuts to try it out before we start messing with it. Pero para subimos la trama, we're gonna have to do that on another video. Pero si es cable la calle que te dije. And we're actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna race the burnout truck versus Pantera. A ver quién gana. They're gonna have the same modification of those. They're both 4.8. They're both gonna be cammed. They have the same gears. They have the. Oh, we're gonna do a different exhaust on this one. I don't know what exhaust we'll do on this one. He visto uno, and I think it's a. I think it's a Borla. Se llama Pro Max. Proflow X or set by the But once we get to that step, you know, we'll let you guys know. We still have some stuff that we're gonna do to it right uh esta semana. Right? We're gonna do some sí, stuff sí. to it. Vamos a quitarle the wheel wheels, vamos a poner los fender flares, we put some fender flares for it. We're gonna remove the real bumper porque está chocado. It's all dented in all the places, y vamos a poner un rope pan. And we're gonna do the cutouts for the muffles. Para ponerle, para que salgan los tips por los carros del rope pan. So that's something we're gonna do to it this week as we're gonna be doing to it. Um, also, stay tuned. We are gonna be dropping the carne asadas with RGB trucks OTM edition. So stay tuned for that one. De ahí we're gonna. Vamos a platicar del show, como estuvo. Uh, you know, the people we said what's up to, the, the fans that came up to us, a lot of people that. Y agarraron el hey man, you know, I watched the, watch the videos, bro. On la Pantera. And it was ni nice meeting you guys. If you're watching this video, nice meeting you guys. Uh, feels appreciative to, you know, be out there and, and be a little bit of inspiration to someone. Y se sienta con madre, güey. Se sienta en la balón. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't get the Pantera out there. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the burnout truck either out there. But it's happening right now. The burnout truck ready para the next show. We will see what's going to be the next show because I think officially it's over for 2023 for us. It's gone. The following show is SEMA, which is in two weeks, and we are going to be dropping a vlog on that one. Para que, por la raza que no puede ir, vea, mire, you know, a little behind the scenes and what happens over there in SEMA. So we're going to be dropping that one as well in two weeks. It's going to be, and we're going to close out the year completely con esa, vea, SEMA, and that's it. It's going to be it. So yeah guys, we're on our way to the studio right now. Ahorita platicamos un poquito más de la burnout truck. Huge shout out también para mi compa Kike. CFM Engineering Headers. And these headers are going to be for the burnout truck. Vamos a abrirla. With some headers. Okay, esas headers, yo se las mandé a pedir. Igual que el Little Larry. I think these are one. Uh, one and three. Three, four. Se me hace que es. Or one and three eighths. These are. And these have a very unique sound to it. Tienen, tienen, como tienen más flow. Hacen un, un, un ruido más. Más chingo. I think for the price, está más malona. También perra. También más malona. Como dice mi compa Chuy, de caché, de caché, vatos.
Era no máximo. Seab Fem Engineering. Nice. Yeah, this is gonna give a very unique sound. Pala burnout truck and let me get you the specific size porque yo lo vi. Oh you got your, your gaskets. So you guys, if you want your headers, visit the website CFM Engineering Headers.com. Get yourself a pair. Uh, the size. Yeah. One and three fourths. That's the size that we went to. Um, we're actually gonna go with the with the one that Takashi had, which were the one seven eight, I think. So we actually just went with the little Larry, the setup that little Larry. Ya nomás de ver qué muffler le ponemos. If you have a if you have a specific muffler in mind that you want to share with us, drop it drop it on the comments below and let us know. Uh, but again, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. We are going to be doing some modification to this truck as it sits. And then after, you know, we're done with it and we actually do some burning stuff, then we're going to wrap it. We're excited because we're just about to get started with the burnout truck. So guys, stay tuned to the video. Like, share, and subscribe. You know what to do. Su compalio. We're signing out.